we're looking at the ribs and we're going to see these a little bit better on the articulated skeleton how they actually line up on the body we have our um, rib head the head of the rib which is going to be articulating with the spine and then wrapping around the front we have the sternal end in other words the part closest to the sternum this is going to be joining costal cartilage and you'll notice that they kind of vary in how they join so we're going to divide these up into groups we have seven true ribs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and each of these has its own individual dedicated costal cartilage. Below that there are three false ribs. In other words, they still join costal cartilage, but you'll notice these last three as they become uh, superior and anterior, they actually join into the base of the seventh rib, the cartilage for the seventh rib, so they really don't have their own dedicated cartilage. And then we have our two floating ribs, numbers 11 and 12 below that. So seven true ribs, three false ribs, and then our two floating ribs, which have no costal cartilage at all, on the anterior.